types of leaves. Based on the morphology, the leaves are broadly classified into two types. One, simple leaves, and two, compound leaves. Simple leaves. The leaf lamina is either lobed or unlobed. Simple leaf with unlobed leaf lamina examples Anona, Psidium. Simple leaf with lobed leaf lamina in which lobes are arranged in pinnate manner. Example Brassica. Simple leaf with lobed leaf lamina in which lobes are arranged in palmate manner. Example Passiflora, Gossipium. Compound leaves. In the leaf, leaf lamina is dissected into small pieces up to midrib or up to tip of the petiole is called compound leaf. Each piece is called leaflet. Leaflet differs from a leaf by not having axillary bud. These are of two types. One, pinnately compound leaves and two, palmately compound leaves. Pinnately compound leaves. In a compound leaf, all the leaflets are arranged on a common axis called rachis. Is called pinnately compound leaf. Based on the number of branches on the rachis, the pinnately compound are of four types. One, unipinnately compound leaf. Two, bipinnately compound leaves. Three, tripinnately compound leaf. And four, decompound leaf. Unipinnately compound leaf. In pinnate compound leaf, all the leaflets are arranged directly on one rachis, that is, primary rachis, is called unipinnate compound leaf. Rachis is unbranched. Depending upon the number of leaflets, it is of two types. One, paripinnate, and two, imparipinnate. Paripinnate compound leaves. In this, leaflets on the rachis are even numbered and the rachis terminates into a pair of leaflets. Example, tamarindus. Imparipinnate compound leaves. In this, the odd numbers of leaflets are present on the rachis and the rachis ends with single leaflet. Example, as a director. Bipinnately compound leaves. In this, primary rachis is branched and the branches are called secondary reiki. Leaflets are developed on secondary reiki. Examples, Acacia arabica, Dilonyx regia, tripinnately compound leaf. In this category, primary reikis produce secondary reikis. Secondary reiki produces branches are called tertiary reiki. Leaflets are developed on tertiary reiki. Examples, Moringa, Melingtonia. Decompound leaf. In this, the rachis divides repeatedly and irregularly. The leaflets are developed on the terminal reiki. Example, coriandrum. Palmately compound leaf. In the compound leaf, all the leaflets are attached to the tip of the petiole, is called palmate compound leaf. Depending upon the number of leaflets, the palmately compound leaves are divided into following types. 
unifoliate compound leaf. One leaflet is present at the junction of the winged petiole and leaflet. One or two leaflets are produced but they are not developed. Example, citrus, bifolia compound leaf. Two leaflets are present. Example, hardwickia, trifoliate compound leaf. Three leaflets are present. Example, eagly marmelos, tetrafoliate compound leaf. Four leaflets are present. Example, Marsilea, pentafoliate compound leaf. Five leaflets are present. Example, Gonandropsis, multifoliate compound leaf. More than five leaflets are present. Example, Seba pentandra.